name is Ken Duffy. I am currently a lieutenant at the North Collier Fire District. Uh, I am serving in my 18th year. Uh, I am part of the Special Operations Team's uh, Technical Rescue and Hazmat. Um, I moved down to Florida uh, in about 2001, right after 9-11. I was born and raised in uh, New York City, uh, grew up on Long Island. Um, I got into the fire service when I was about 16 years old. My dad was a volunteer fireman on Long Island in Smithtown for about 50 years. So my brothers and I, three of us, we used to go to the firehouse and we got the bug and got bit for it. Um, however, when I got out of high school, I went right into the elevator trade in New York City and I was a local one elevator constructor uh, installing uh, high rise elevators in the city of New York. Um, and I did 19 years in that industry. But I always had a love for the fire service, uh, wanted to get back to the fire service. So I was able to retire out at the age of 36 uh, and then I had moved down to Florida uh, got my EMT license uh, met up with a couple of guys that were uh, local firemen in the area and just kind of you know felt my way around to see where I can land a job and and North Collier uh, was the fire department where I landed uh, back in 2004 started out as a fireman at 36 you know just uh, working through the ranks became an engineer uh, got involved with the technical rescue team being you know I worked on a lot of high-rise buildings in New York City so I had no fear of heights uh, with repelling you know with ropes did a lot of you know real risky stuff in the elevator industry um, so I had a really good background in safety as far as you know how to keep myself safe so I felt that carried over real well when I got into the fire service um, so became an engineer learned how to pump the truck um, you know, having safety for your crew. Um, so it was a real, real good fit after about four years on the job here. Uh, currently going into my 19th year, I transferred over to the inspection division uh, where I do elevator training. Um, I teach classes throughout the state of Florida. I've kind of dovetailed my, my elevator um, experience of, of 19 years. Uh, teaching firemen how to remove people from stuck elevators. Um, got a really good taste of it down here when I uh, worked at one of the stations with uh, one of the senior captains who's now retired, Captain Lowell. And, uh, you know, he, he had a need for guys uh, to be trained in the fire service on how to properly extricate people from elevators. Um, and then just kind of dovetailed into the training. So I started training our guys in our district on different engines, different shifts, working with officers, answering questions. Uh, I, I, I teach classes around the state to other fire departments just to impart my knowledge of elevators to other fire service members so that they can do you know, uh, the work safely, remove passengers safely, and nobody gets hurt. So here at North Collier Fire Rescue, um, I'll kind of give you a scenario. So I'll walk you through a typical call and, and how I've applied my specialties um, of elevator knowledge uh, to the crews to uh, ensure that your safety in the elevator is, uh, is going to be uh, obviously safe and, and we, the rescuers are taking you out of the elevator. Uh, we want it to be a complete um, um, scenario where everyone's safe. You, the passenger, are stuck in the elevator and us, the fire service, are coming to get you out. So on a typical call, our engine company would show up. The phone call would usually come probably from you with your cell phone uh, or it would come through the auto dialer inside the elevator. That usually goes right to either control. They basically will call the fire department um, depending on where you're stuck in the elevators. Our district has over 110 high-rise uh, buildings in our district, so we can average anywhere from five, I've heard as many as 10 calls a month as far as elevator entrapments. They've increased uh, since the 1970s, uh, since the 1980s, uh, because of the, the invention of a cell phone. Everybody gets stuck in an elevator, they call on their cell phone, we come get you out. So typically an engine company will show up with three guys or four guys. They will find out where the location is of the elevator, which you're in it. Um, we will make contact with you, let you know that everything's okay. We'll make sure that there's no medical issues with you in the elevator. Um, and then we can basically set out our, our protocols and procedures. We have uh, standard operating procedures at every single engine company, ladder company, rescue company. They are all proficient and we train on how to get people out of elevators safely. Our first number one priority is your safety and then second is our safety. So the number one thing we do is we try to remove the power. We will remove the power from the elevator so that it does not move. And then I have trained our crews in our district how to manipulate the elevator doors to open the doors up. And then we also have to manipulate the car doors to open up the car doors. And that's usually when we see you guys sitting inside the elevator. At that point, the power's removed. We can then determine what is the best location to take you 
you out of the elevator, whether, we, whether you can just step out of the elevator or we have to go on top of the elevator, drop a ladder down in through, there's an escape hatch on the roof of the elevator and we can remove you from that uh, location. That's our last resort. However, sometimes the elevator mechanic is on his way and if it's in a position, the elevator, where we can't get you out in a safe manner, you're safe inside the elevator. We'd rather just leave you there and wait 10 or 15 minutes maybe for the elevator mechanic to come and then reset the elevator with his laptop. Um, and that's pretty much how an elevator rescue entrapment runs. Um, like I said, we do run a lot in the district, so with uh, continued training, our guys are very proficient in it, and we are consistently adding new guys to, um, to operations. Um, and that's kind of like where I dovetailed my, my elevator experience in there. I just take the knowledge that I have to train our people to remove people from stuck elevators as absolutely safe as possible by removing the power, you know, getting you safely out of the elevator. So I'm rolling into my uh, 19th year here at North Collier. I've probably got about four more years. Um, I continue to uh, teach and educate our firefighters here at North Collier. Um, when I got hired, I had the option to go with Bonita Springs, um, South Trail, and uh, Collier County was one of my, well, actually North Collier or North Naples when I got hired was the department that I chose only because of its size, its progressiveness. Um, I love the professionalism of all the guys that I saw on the engines. When I wasn't a fireman, I came down, I toured some of the stations, I met with the chief at the time. Um, very, very receptive. It was just uh, a place that I knew I was gonna spend a third of my life at uh, in this career that I wanted to be here. Everybody was, was great. Nobody left this fire department. When you got hired here, you stayed here. And, and that's what it was like in the elevator trade. I got hired with Otis Elevator and I retired with Otis Elevator. So um, with that, I feel real fortunate. My career has been in one spot. It's been great, met a great bunch of people. Uh, I'll continue to class, uh, do classes around the state of Florida, teaching and educating firefighters in various uh, counties throughout the state to, to just give them the information that I have so that they can continue and you know, start their careers uh, in the fire service. And, and like I said, elevator rescue and entrapments is, is something that is growing, it's increasing. Uh, population is just you know, increasing in the state of Florida. Buildings are going up all the time and they got elevators. So uh, I'm just gonna keep moving in the right direction and keep teaching until I decide to hang my helmet up. <laughs>